really glad you came to me with this and stuff. I really like it here. I couldn't do anything bad to you guys. Don't worry, Dev. After we get the captain back, we'll rescue her. I just want her to move on. It was hard to lose her once. I can't lose her again. It took courage for you to come to me with this, Dev. I won't forget that. Thank you, Captain. Oh. Gail, come in. How did it go? Did you discover anything or anything? Something was preventing me from manifesting completely, but it appears to be an empty system. Alright, we'll continue as planned, for now. There's definitely strange reading here, but I can't make sense of any of it. I also cannot determine the source or the cause. I am detecting another office entering the system. It is the erudition. Confirmed. It is the home office. What are they, like, doing here and stuff? Let's find out, Glass. AD, open communications. We are being jammed. I'm not able to pinpoint it exactly, but the home office is the only other ship in the area. They must be compromised. I'd recommend caution here. We are being jammed. It would appear the area edition is jamming our attempts to communicate with them. The imposter must have gotten to them. Or maybe he killed them all. Either way, we can't allow them to leave this system. Bring our weapons to full power and adjust our position. Take us right at them. Battle station. They're breaking orbit. They're coming straight for us, Captain. They have activated weapons. What are your orders, Captain? They must be compromised. Gail, get over there and find out what they're doing. I'm afraid I'm not able. There is something in this system that is preventing me from dematerializing. I am also being affected. I am unable to link. Battle station. They're moving this way. They, they have discovered us. We have left the nebula too soon. We couldn't stay in there forever. Do we have shields, weapons, anything? No, they will discover it. What are you thinking, Doctor? By uploading scope into my neural processor, they won't discover her there. I can't believe all this has been for nothing. It, it is, is not, not over yet, yet, Captain. We are still being jammed. They don't want to talk. Either they destroy us or we destroy them. Captain! All my attempts to communicate with the area should have failed, Captain. It's them or us, Ted. Make a call. We should be able to cut through the interference. Open communications with both of them. What the hell are you doing? Laura? Um, we've been trying to communicate with them for the past hour. We've been trying to communicate with you as well. Uh, hello? You've been jamming us. You've been jamming us. You're being played. We've located Lisa's office and believe the real captain is being held on board. If you guys are done spying, we should really get on your way. We're standing down. Galak. Take him into custody. It's over. AD, confine him to the holding cell. If you two are ready, we really need to get going. Agreed. Agreed. And like, sorry and everything. Us two. Let's go get the captain. Together. Did you really think you could get away from me, Doctor? From me? How smart you are, but a fool, none. All you ever do is threaten me. Can you really blame me? You're alone.
alone, Lisa. You will always be alone. Do you want to know why? Because you're crazy, Lisa. You hear me? Crazy! I'm going on board with Gale. I'm leaving Elden in charge here. Think you can, like, hold them off long enough and stuff? We'll do what we can, Op. Go find the captain. Gale, you're with me. The Pixie office has managed to cripple the engines of Lisa's vessel. However, they are still capable of defensive measures. This is not over. Go. I'll be fine. Are you sure? If anything should happen to you... It won't, or anything. You have your orders, I think. I don't understand. Me neither. But I'm here to help you get out of here. She has my son. I can't think. No. She's been lying to you. Your son is safe. You've... You've seen death? Yes. Come. We must leave this place. She has some kind of dampening thing in place. I've already deactivated that. We need to get you out of here. Stop right there and everything. Put your wings where I can see them. Who the fuck do you think you are? Op? Careful, she's crazy. We haven't, like, met her or anything, but you don't want to get on my bad side. If I was you, I would disappear like a good little pixie, before things get out of hand for you, maybe. Are you seriously challenging me? You're damned right I am. You're not the first pixie, and you won't be the last, I'm sure. Hold on to something, Captain. What, what are, are you, you doing? doing? Just a little depressurization, to take out the trash. That's right, I just, like, called you trash. No! As far as I know, Pixie can't survive in, like, the vacuum of space and stuff. Was it necessary to kill her? Absolutely, Absolutely necessary. necessary. You, you said it yourself, Captain. She's crazy. She just did the galaxy a favor. You can write me up later. Right now, we need to get you back to the ship and everything. Let's go, Doctor. You asked to see me, Ted? We know you are a traitor. You set this entire thing up from the beginning, didn't you? Don't bother denying it, Admiral. We accessed your communication records. You don't understand, Ted. She threatened to kill my family. She threatens to kill everyone's family, Admiral. You should have trusted us. I'm placing you under arrest for high crimes against this office. I suggest a good lawyer. By the way, Admiral, you should know. We took care of Lisa. She won't be harming anyone's family. Take him away. The captain is recovering. You may speak with him, but please keep it brief. Captain, are you all right? It's really good to see you, sir. I'm all right. I've been offered promotion to Admiral. In light of what's happened, I've accepted the position. Congratulations, Captain. I mean, Admiral. You've both proven to be great commanding officers. When I'm released, I want to schedule a sit-down with both of you to review the staff and make some decisions going forward. Of course, Admiral. But there is no rush. We've got everything under control. Just focus on yourself right now. Getting better. Let Dick know if you need anything, Admiral. How can we afford it? We've taken on additional contracts to protect Earth. It seemed fitting. We've assigned the staff to both vessels, Captain. I mean, Admiral. We're ready. We've got your back, Captain Op. Just let us know if you need anything out there. I'll have the air edition on constant standby. I've agreed to let the Doctor join your expedition, but he understands that he's confined to the lab while on board, until you say otherwise. I understand he's like a medical doctor also. If you need him to be, I'm sure he can manage. What about like, what's its name? Just call her Scope. She will be assigned to your vessel as your chief and 
engineer. She comes with her own power source, but can't leave the confines of the ship, so keep it in mind. I told you, it has proven to be highly entertaining. Everything okay here, boys? Remember, that's my daughter in there. If anything should happen to her... She's doing fine. We're anxious to introduce the next expansion. Are you ready? Almost. Thank <laughs> you.